we're now thinking that maybe we only need the one gadget. There would be just this one box that would plug into the desk. Our listeners will just have to imagine that in this in this basement there's there's microphones, there's CD players, there is one good computer that's hardwired into the into the desk, and there's another uh, cable that's plugged plugged into John's phone. And that's really the, the weak spot, we would say, because this, this cable is a sort of consumer electronics level cable and there's loads of people who use it in different ways. Uh, we think it has been pulled around to every corner of the studio where there happens to be a phone or a mobile device of some kind and uh, it can sometimes crackle. Yes. It's, it's behaving itself very well at the moment. Uh, this studio is perfectly fine. We just feel that there should be some some gadget uh, or no it's a the gadgets already exist let's put it this way this is working our way towards a spec because what we've what we've found out is that the gadget show is now going to have a sort of competition for a future gadget and we're thinking of something somewhere between a mobile device and a studio so this box would would have possibly a cable into the desk because the, the people who do the engineering and support in a, in a, an FM studio, they like cables and reliable looking bits of equipment. So it, it, would be, it would have a solid conventional way of getting into the desk, but it would also have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something else. Yes. So that you could just arrive with, with a phone, such as your phone, John, or I shall get the hang of a phone as well eventually, or a computer... <laughs> John, <laughs> you, yes, when yeah. Will gets the hang of his smartphone, it's probably it's probably going to take quite a while. Although it is out of his, it is out of his box quite a, quite a bit now. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of looking at it. He uh, is, he is looking at it, but he's still he, he's still a bit apprehensive about it. You know how it is. Uh, I think Will I think Will is more interested in sorting out sorting out his attic at the moment. Well, I've got a lot of. Pieces of paper and boxes of old <laughs> desktops and yeah. so forth. Yeah. So um, anyway, look in this studio. I've I've got YouTube on a desktop Windows computer, <laughs> and I've got two CD players. And so the program, <laughs> dear listeners, if you think there's too much chatter going on and there's too much sort of silence and confusion, don't worry. We, the, the conventional equipment will will fill most of the time, but we are working on uh, connecting with the gadgets. So that's about as much of a spec as we can come up with for the gadget show. We hope to win the £100,000 in funding and the advice on how to do the business. I doubt we will win it. Well, but we can only try, John. We can only try. It, yeah, I mean, it would be good if you could all donate at www.phonic.fm. I mean, there's a big PayPal donation button there. And there is. Most of you could donate as much as possible. Because it's just possible this box already exists. Yeah, I mean, the technology's out there, but there's one thing standing in the way. Money. Money. It might, it might be money. I think if we try to explain to the gadget show what it is we want, uh, well, they'll either say, oh, yes, that's a good idea to have a lot of money, or this already exists. Or join their raffle, and well, yeah, or whatever. Well, yeah, but we need to go to the gadget show to find out. We do. But I think we've explained ourselves on the radio. It may be a good idea to keep on going to bet as well. Bet is very good. Because bet... We went to we went to bet just to explain it's a technology show. And uh, it's a, well, it's for, for education and training. It's for schools. Yes, and in It's gradually for FE and universities as well. In between times when you weren't pulling your hair out about various things, it, it was all right. Mm. Yes. Well, we won't, go, we won't go into that. I don't, I don't really panic. John, John just thinks that I panic. Yes, yeah. I just think I, it will panic. Yeah. But at, at bet, we can say there was a lot of uh, FM studio equipment for schools and for sale. For sale, and some of it was quite cheap. You you bought a, a little microphone that records, mobile one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, which is which is a good thing. Yeah, and there wasn't really a lot about phones. The only thing we could find there about phones was a way of blocking the students' signal, <laughs> so they paid attention in class. So we don't think mobile phones are being used as much as they could be for learning no. in informal education. But, but that's another topic. Isn't then it? I've expl- I've tried to explain to Will why that is, and he doesn't seem to quite understand. 
No. Well, look, anyway, I think we're wandering off on too many topics, John. I don't think we are. Well, no, no, all right. Well, all I would say is that for, for adult education or further education, whatever you want to call it, yes. people like us... Use phones all You the can time. use the phone. Yes, but in small kids' education, brattish education... It's mm. not going to work. It's not going to work? No. Oh. When, when I say... When, when I... You know, if you're... It depends what age... Well, it depends what age range you're trying to teach. Okay. If you're trying to teach, like, teenagers from 13, 14... Maybe 11, 12, 13, 14 from upwards, it's not going to really work because if you're in a class of 30 or 40 students mm. and you're trying to promote iPhones as the way of learning, mm. well, I think you're going to get a bit of, like, backlash on that and people are... The kids are more interested in social media and Facebook and Twitter and all oh. the social media websites. And Can you imagine it? I mean, the teachers are going to pull their hair out. Although, if you're trying to use something like Google Classroom, possibly... Because Google Classroom... Was was promoted that, up there? That wasn't was it? promoted. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I don't I don't know. It's a vicious circle, but I I presume it depends what age range you're trying to teach. Okay. Well, look, we'll come, we'll come back to this. I think I think we should play some music. I've got um, I've got a um, a Michael Jackson track lined up, uh, but it's by the influence. So this is their their version of Rock with You. <laughs> 